Oh, so we going live, and y'all, y'all wanna go tell me what's going live? So a nigga just might keep the motherfucking mic in the video the whole motherfucking time because the nigga the shit not picking up cuz don't buy shit off Amazon that bitch do not work I'm just bullshitting <clears throat> Amazon the shit Sponsor a nigga bro No <laughs> What's up YouTube man back with another video welcome to the trap life Turn that shit up girl Lately I've been counting friends. Lately, first I fight to go to London. Lately, back then I was the only gunman. Chase the paper like I'm hunting. Better play your position. My favorite room in here the kitchen. My very first story time video, man. Talk about my life, bro. Take your time. Take your time. Got jumped. But yeah, man. I'm gonna talk about the time that I got jumped, bro. Damn. I forgot what year. Back when I was staying in Jacksonville, I went to Suzy Talbot. Yeah, so I nigga, nigga was in uh, elementary school, man. One day walking home from school, I headed back to the house. It was me and my sister and um, two dudes I was cool with, man. So um, these niggas, you know what I'm saying, walking home mad as fuck, pouting and shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck wrong with y'all? Cause these niggas look like, like the teacher done called their parents or some shit. Like they know they finna get this ass whooping. Like these niggas mad as fuck. Like, you know how you gotta get that warm up before you get this ass whooping? Like, Everybody, my mom, I'm gonna kill everybody. Walking the door already ready. Like, I don't, that's how ready these niggas. But, um, yeah. And uh, I forgot how the situation went. But uh, somehow this nigga pushed me. All I, all I remember is the nigga, I was on the ground. Damn. But this nigga pushed me and somehow, I, I remember being on the ground. I remember that. I remember that part. But, um, so a nigga got, uh, got up, you know what I'm saying? We got the scrap and whatever. And, like, I got this nigga down on the ground. So his brother came out of nowhere. <clears throat> nigga started pushing me. And uh, we ended up circling each other like a real ass duel, like nigga, like a Yu Gi Oh duel. Exodia, obliterate! Yo, nigga, it's time to do it. <laughs> Talking about nigga defense mode, bitch. Exodia! <laughs> um, I think we fought for a little bit, and somehow somebody broke it up. I forgot how that shit ended. What's up, bro? It ain't nothing. Why, what's up, boy? For real, boy? What's up, boy? What, what you what saying? You That's all you do is what's up, Andre? Don't, don't put your brains in my face. Don't put your brains in my face, bro. Don't put your brains in my face. What you saying? 85% basketball. What you saying, bro? 85% basketball. What you trying to do, bro? What you saying? Alright, what's up? What you saying? Swing in. Swing. But what you saying? I bet you I'm trying to. And uh, so on the next day, let me pause the story right here. For parents that put their kids on Adderall. Let me say, you stupid motherfuckers. You gotta be a special kind of retarded. Don't do it. Going to school and shit from elementary to seventh grade. My mom put me on Adderall because she thought I um I couldn't focus in class, but that was not even a that wasn't even a case. Like I wasn't interested in doing the work. I didn't give a fuck. So she put a nigga on Adderall. Everybody noticed uh, the difference in my behavior or whatever. I was like, damn, bro, what the fuck wrong with you? You sad? You dead? Like, nah, bro, I'm living. What the fuck wrong with you? Hey, my nigga, you scared? Even on Adderall, I still did what the fuck I wanted to do, but at the same time. Physically, I couldn't, like, you can't really do much. Like, I remember one day she gave me a, a 15 or a 20. Bro, a nigga couldn't stand up. I was in seventh grade. I couldn't stand up for more than 10 minutes without feeling like I had to pass out. Like, bro, don't put your kids on Adderall. But back to the story. So she gave me a 15, went to school. Both of them talking shit to me all throughout school. So um, after school, we getting out, going to um, walking home from school. It was me, my nigga Jay. I forgot his name, so I'm gonna call him Jay. Me, my nigga Jay, my, uh, my sister. We walking home from school, these niggas trying me. You know what I'm saying? They main focus was on me, but my nigga Jay ain't know what the fuck happened. I ain't even, I ain't even explained it to him. So these niggas walking in between us, like hitting me. And nigga, if I was not on Adderall, I would not let that shit slide. Like, bro, nigga, we had to fight after that. But like, physically, bro, you cannot. Look, on, when you're on Adderall, bro, you cannot function. Like, for real deal, you cannot function. Physically, you can't. So these niggas hit me in the face. Uh, the nigga done pushed me down. I I think when he pushed me down, it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. You got knocked the fuck out. Oh, okay, okay, shot. Oh, that's it. Now me clean up. 